everyone, Kaylee here to show you guys how to make cat ears out of your own hair for Halloween this year. I think this is super cute and fun and a great last minute idea. So first of all, we're going to start out with the kind of outline ears that you saw first and we're going to use pipe cleaners from that. And basically you're going to go about three inches back from your hair and make a part straight down and about an inch thick. Then you're going to go ahead and take that out and this is going to be our first section. Now you want these sections to be divided in the middle, so go ahead and look at your nose and make a line straight back and part your hair right there. And then the section that you see on the right right there is our first section and you want to go ahead and clip it to hold it in place. And then you're going to create an identical section on the other side. Now the longer you make this, the wider your cat ear is going to be, so make these as long as you want them to be wide. Then you're going to take a pipe cleaner and braid it in with your hair. This is going to help to create that little triangle-y shape. You want to braid all the way down to the end of your hair and secure it with a band. And then you're going to make a triangle with this pipe cleaner braid. Then if you have any left over at the end, go ahead and wrap it around the base. Once that's all wrapped around, you're going to go ahead and just use one single bobby pin to hold it in place. You can use more if you need to, but I only needed one. And then do the exact same thing on the other side. You want to braid all the way down and then go ahead and make a triangle. Make sure that it's the same size as the other triangle that you made. And then again, if you have any hair left over at the bottom, just go ahead and wrap it around the base. It helps to kind of hide any weird part lines that you might have going on. So if you have extra long hair and extra hair to work with, it's actually a good thing. So go ahead and pin that in place. And guess what? You are all done with your little outline -y cat ears. And now for the second method. This one is actually very similar to victory rolls. You're gonna start out with your first section and really, really tease that base. The teasing is what gives it its shape. You really can't get around it for this one. So tease pretty well right there at the base, as far out as you want your ear to be, and then smooth the top so that you don't have any weird little hairs sticking out. And then you're going to curl the rest of the hair. Curling the rest of the hair makes it easier to hide the rest of it because we're actually going to be creating a little roll right here. And if you don't, it can just be a little harder. So then wrap the hair around two fingers to create like a little donut shape and wrap that donut shape up behind the teasing. And look, a cat ear emerges. And basically you're just going to pin that little section right there in the back. And I use two bobby pins for this. And you don't have to worry too much about how you pin this because they're not really going to show up. But you can crisscross them to make sure they hold extra well. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Make sure that you tease just as much as you did on the first side smooth it out in the direction that it's going to go, curl it. If you already have curly hair, you might not need to, just, you know, it kind of helps. Then make your donut shape, wrap the donut shape up right behind the teasing, and pin it in place. Once you've got all that done, you definitely want to give it a good hairspray just to make sure that it will stay really nicely, and you've got your cat ear hairstyle. I hope you guys tried this out. Make sure to send me pictures with the hashtag Let's Make It Up One on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I would love to see them. Also make sure to check out my previous Halloween tutorials and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye!